quick. All right, before the finger of vanishing gets me, I need to tell you to like, sub, share, and everything else to do with the YouTube video because it's going to get me and we need to hit 200 subscribers. Oh God, it's here. No, no. Warning, this video game contains flashing lights, the characters and entities are all fictitious and any resemblance to reality is just a coincidence. G'day, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shadow, and today we are playing That's Not My Neighbor. Now, from what I've seen this game, we are a doppelganger detective agent or whatever. We work for the doppelganger detective department, some short like that. So we're just supposed to let people in that we're supposed to and turn away the ones that aren't real people. So... Let's get started. Doppelgangers, you let in, you let in, don't kill you immediately, but at the end of the run, get a score rank at the end of the run according to your performance, possibil possibility to find and complete the Chester's quiz. Let's do it. Oh, a whole ass cutscene, okay. The following short film was a production of DDD with educational fines. <laughs> I didn't like that. Hello, if you're watching this film, it's because you're the new doorman in your building. Your job is to determine whether the person who wants to enter the building is a doppelganger. Just casual stuff. As everyone knows, doppelgangers have the ability to transform into another person and impersonate them. But some are not too good at it. You can generate imperfections. You have to p pay close attention to the appearance of your neighbors. Also, remember to fill out the checklist for each neighbor. You can't miss any detail because it could mean the death for you and your neighbors. Oh, nice. Thanks for that. This is the structure of your office. Now we are going to explain how it works. This is cute. Here is the security window. Don't forget to observe the very well of each individual who approaches. On the right, you will have the folders with all the data of each neighbor according to their respective floor. To fill out the checklist, take one of the lists in front of you. Receive documents from this hatch. What if they just like put a bomb through there, what's doppelganger or not. If you determine that the individual isn't a doppelganger, then allow them to enter the building with these buttons. Otherwise, if you determine that it is in fact a doppelganger, press the emergency button and call 3312. To communicate with DDD or any apart apartment in your building, use the telephone in front of you. That's where I gotta call, I guess. Your job is really important, so make sure you do it right. Of course, I'm a believer in full assing everything, not half assing. Finally, we congratulate the doorman of the month, Henry. It was it wasn't that he did an excellent job, but he was the only doorman in the area who didn't get killed by a double gangers. Okay, so be like Henry. Oh <laughs> Yeah, that's the message, be like Henry. But but better, okay. Sure, I'll I'll be better than the Macca's guy, because that's what he looks like. Okay. Oh, interesting. Welcome and congratulations on your new job. As you could, I just realized the way they talk is so stupid. As you could see, they're introducing. You. No, no. Okay. Each day there will be a list of individuals who will request entry into the building. It's possible that all that there are all individuals who request entry aren't on the list. In which case, you will mark on the skill check on the checklist that they are not on the list and proceed to question the individual. Also, you must verify the ID and the entry request are correct if of the respective DDD. Don't forget to also check the list expiration date on the IDs. Remember, it's February 1955. Wish you best of luck. Thanks, Mr. Well, so now we just left our own devices. Oh, shit, someone's a oh. Hoon. Excuse me, uh, Ted Niverson? Is that you? <laughs> uh... No, I- I'm sorry, but you're just- just- just... No... <laughs> I, uh... I'm gonna check to make sure it's the case, but I- I really don't think that, um... This man is real! I don't care what you say, but that motherfucker back there is not real. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, uh, danger, danger. Call- it was it? I know how to use an old telephone. Three, three, one, two. You have contacted the DDD, I'm aware. A group of agents has been sent to your building. Thank you. Please wait for the cleaning protocol to run. I am waiting very eagerly. Cleaning protocol, protocol is completed. What if, what if you are the doppelganger? What if you just changed into a hazmat suit? 
Anybody ever thought about that shit? Good afternoon. Okay. Hello. You look like a teacher. Gloria Schmidt. Okay. Uh, she lives in on floor two, apartment one. I think that's what it says. There we go. So round face, mole on right cheek, short hair, round nose. Mole on right cheek, short hair, round nose. Yep, very voluptuous in the face. Uh, yeah. ID number is. Six nine eight five two two three four one eleven fifty. Six nine eight five two two three four one or three four eleven fifty. Yep. And oh yeah, you've still got tons of time left on your ID, Gloria. Good on you. Yep. I'm resident in the building. I come from my job as a banker. Okay. She's a banker. Everything checks out. Good on you, Gloria. You can head straight in. Oh shit, I gotta do the checklist. Uh, yep, ID, appearance, entry request. It is on today's list. Cool. You can get in. Go for it, Gloria. Have a nice day. Good afternoon. Say hello to your husband for me. Or wife. I don't discriminate. Excuse me? Oh, oh shit, I got Do I have to close the door? They didn't tell me this shit! Okay, well I know that you're not the real one. <laughs> You just walked, uh, fucking no. No. Three, three, one, two. Well, at least I know, I think I know I let the real one in. I don't know. Yes, good, I know, I've contacted the DDD. <laughs> to you too. Yikes. Oh no. I might be dead. <laughs> Please tell me you're a fake one. Mia Stone. Floor F0301. Long hair, small round nose. She has freckles, oval face, thin eyebrows. And the biggest lips I have ever seen on a anything ever. Resident in this building, my apartment is. Yep, it's true. Damn. Uh, all right, let's have a look at this. Seven eight nine five six four five two five one one five. Seven eight nine five six four five two five one one five. No, you're the real one. That makes me upset. That makes me so sad. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I'm gone skis. Hello. You look like you're cracked out of your mind. What is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else? Um. Getting deep with these questions, are we? I got it. Ass. <laughs> Fuck you then. <laughs> you're incorrect. I'm right. How many of this chick is going to show up? No, you're not the right one. Go away. There's been three of you already. <laughs> Impersonate someone else, at least. There's been four of you with the same woman. <laughs> or three. Oh, thank God. Hello. What's good, my dude? Uh, Dr. W. Afton. William Afton? Five Nights at Freddy? He's <laughs> a physicist. Physicist get... Uh, have the, like, doctor title? Robust eyebrows, wears glasses, short hair, round nose, square head. Uh, yeah, looks like that matches. Uh, entry request. It's all good. 250... 250-489-656-214 Yep. All checks out to me. You look like you're good to go. Complete the checklist. Actually, I don't know. Is he on today's list? He's not. So... Which the individual? I'm on today's list because I had to leave due to emergency at work. That's fair enough. Go for it. Close the door again, not letting another doppelganger in. Now who else is going to be this time? Mm, hi or whatever. You look tired as fuck. You look like me, bro. Anastasia. Anastasia. Michaelis. What? Oh, that's what it says here too. But she's on the list. Uh, what floor did you say you lived on? Floor 204. Uh, tired eyes, two ponytails, small nose, small nose, round face. Uh, yeah. Everything seems to 
Check out, I think. Let me have a look at your lips. Yeah, nah, that's all good. Uh, one, three, two, six, nine, eight, five, three, four, four, six, two. One, three, two, six, nine, eight, five, three, four, four, six, two. Yep. You're all good to go. Go on now. Who else? Who else is going to be in? I'm expecting a Arnold. What? Who in the diddly fuck are you? Pennywise? Ever dream this clown? Every night all over the world, hundreds of people see this clown in their dreams. If the clown appears in your dreams, don't play any game with him. If you want more information... Uh... Oh, you don't even want to come in? What? <laughs> Am I gonna dream this clown tonight? Oh, are you Arnold? You are Arnold Schmidt. Uh, oh, there's your husband. I didn't even realize that you were her husband. Seven seven eight five six six two one nine three two two. What floor do you live on? I resident in this building. My apartment is on the second floor. Yep, 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 yep. Big eyebrows, prominent mustache, wears a hat, round face. It's a little weird. Why doesn't he wear a hat in this image? Short hair. I mean, he wears a hat, but he's a writer. What does it say that you do? Like, I gotta check his ID number too. Everything seems to check out. Yep, IDs. Oh, I haven't been checking the fucking... the ID. Ooh. That might be it for me then. But you seem to be okay, so I'll let you write in. Uh, you glor... You, yeah, you're both looking great. I saw Gloria earlier today. Oh, hello? 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 Oh yeah, because I learned a doppelganger. Yay! <laughs> God fucking damn it. Doppelgangers captured three and they just killed zero doppelgangers. You got in two! Two! Where was the second one? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do that again. We're gonna go for a perfect flawless run. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, 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 I know. Alright, I got it. I got you this time. You ain't getting past my defenses. Why are your eyes closed? Open your goddamn eyes. You are not on the list by the looks of it. Unless you are who I think you are. You don't have an ID. Celine Svert, resident of this building, my apartment is O floor on the O four on the first floor. Oh my God, they're twins. Okay, this is gonna be bad. Okay, so you have a mole on the right cheek. Right cheek. Yep, you've got it. Yep, that's all good. A small pinted nose, slim, long neck. She has a twin. No fucking shit. But the only defining factor is the mole and the little curly whirly on the top of her head. Uh, she doesn't have her ID on her, which is, you know, like, sus. I don't know if I want to let you in. No ID. Parents, yeah. Entry request, yeah. And not on the list. Here is my ID. Thank you. You could have given... I'm not on today's list because I had to leave due to an emergency at work. Okay, 1980. Yep, your ID's all good. 75. Yep, okay, all good. <sighs> You're fine. Go on in. Better not have- you better not come back to kill me. I swear. Ah, what a dapper young fellow. But not very young. But I'm just trying to be modest. <laughs> Out cap- capsaicin. I, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Uh. I'm a resident of the building. I came from my job as a lawyer. Okay, well, what floor? Lawyer, big nose, prominent mustache, uses a monocle, wears a hat, round face. Yep, you look all good. Also, what the? Do you have diabetes or something? What's wrong with your nose? Are you on the list? He is on the list. Let's see if his ID matches up. Yep, you're good to go. Thank you for making things easy. You know, sometimes this job can be really annoying with annoying people, you know? They just need to understand I'm trying to do my job. You know? Hello. Oh my god, you're the twin. Give me your ID! You don't have a mole on either cheek. Where- where is she? Nope, you need a mole. Nah, goodbye. You need a mole, or you are a mole! Uh-huh. That's it. I caught on that immediately. Thank you very much for your help, uh, Monster Inc. Hazmat guy. There better not be a triplet coming. Good afternoon. Hello, Arnold. I missed you already. Yep, he's a rider. Everything looks all good. He's wearing his hat today, looking quite dapper, chap. Yeah, no, you look all good. You're on the list. I like you, so I'm just gonna let you in without much. You're good, you're good. Say hello to Gloria. 
Oh god, it's this guy again. What do you want? What does it mean to the life of the universe? Okay, well, maybe... Maybe he's more of like a... Maybe he's more of a personality guy. Okay, well... I don't know how to help you, man. You gotta stop eating those shrooms that you find out in the forest, dude. Because they are not giving the effects that you want. Hello, it's you again. Mm, hi, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I know. Everything looks fine so far. Live here, whatever. I come from school. You like saying whatever, don't you? Uh, 1985, 132698. Yep. Where do you live? F1204. We don't have a floor 12. What? You're not even on the list. You don't live here. You live on F0204. Nah, no thanks. No thanks. No thanks. See you later. Everybody get down! You've contacted the DDD, the deep dicking down department. That's right, I caught your ass in like 1080p. Who the hell are you? Are you gonna. Like, oh, well, uh, good, hello, uh, your senpai, domain senpai. Oh, can I please enter the building? Like, what the fuck are you? I thought that said Lois Stinky, but you know, close enough. What floor do you live on? The very first one. Ah, uh, yes. You both are... He, you know, she definitely gives off this kind of vibe, and then he's just like, Whatever daddy wants, daddy gets. Kind of guy, I can already tell. 84... 894567238. 894567238. Yep. Yep, your ID's valid. Yep, that all checks out. We have a look at your mole. Your lips are not as big. Wait a second. You need bigger lips. Them lips ain't big enough, honey. Sorry, but you gotta go. Nah, you know, sorry. Ooh, Senpai. Looks like you made a fucky wucky. <laughs> That's right, I'm not getting caught out at all today. I've not let a single doppelganger through. Down. Oh my god, it's you again. There was like four of you last time, me a stone, so I need to be extra careful with you. Resident on the building. If my job as a teacher. Do you teach, um, what's her face? Do you teach Anastacha Michaela's? Because, um, yeah, no, she's sus as hell, by the way. Oh, your husband is a or, 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 or guy. So, yep. Long hair, small round nose, has freckles, oval face, thin eyebrows. Thin eyebrows, has freckles, small oval face. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Damn, you need to get that shit renewed. No, you don't. I'm kidding. Yep, everything looks all good. Are you on the list? You are me a stone. Thank you for making these things easy for me. I appreciate that. Now, is this fucking clown gonna come up now? Or are we done? Hello, guy. Not on the list, so... Not on today's list because I had to leave due to emergency at work. Yeah, that's what they all say. Um, Resident is building F012. Oh, you are too. Oh, we got husband and husband, or is it brother? Emergency at work, huh? What do you do for work? You're a shoemaker. Now tell me, what sort of emergencies would require- what, what, what emergency, huh? Someone lost their souls? Someone tripped over their shoelace? Like, what sort of emergency? Would a shoelace, would a shoemaker have? I don't know, man. I'm gonna... Apartment phone number? I didn't even realize I had an apartment phone number. Hmm... 2668. Maybe I'll try calling the apartment phone number. Hello, Albertski speaking. My brother is not at home. Okay, cool. Alright, you're free to go. You're not on the today's list. Hang on. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Alright, you're all good to go. I didn't realize there was an apartment phone number. Damn. Oh my god, hello. You look like you're straight out of the movie Hairspray. Uh, okay. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Cap, 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 capsaicin? I don't know. I'm resident in this building. Went out to visit my parents. Okay. So you live on FO304. Yep. Long face, big no straight hair. Where's headband? Long face, big nose. Yep, has double chin. That probably should have been one. Where's headband? Okay, so you live... Ah, so your husband just got home. 
Maybe I should call your husband. She's a housewife. Okay, so she went to visit her parents. She's on the list. I think you're I think you're good. I think you're all good. So I'm gonna let you in. But if you come back to kill me, I will be upset with you. Or if you kill any of the neighbors. Good afternoon. Why do you have a scar there? And also, why does it look like your nose is suffering from blood loss? Squid, Mr. Squidward. Okay, well, he has the scar there, but am I expect he we are expecting him. He's got a scar. What a weirdo. Uh, what, what floor? What floor do you live on? The first one. Okay. Has a scar. Wears a hat, one eyebrow, long face, scar on the right chin, big nose. Okay. Everything looks okay so far, but I might call your apartment just because your wife had a doppelganger. 1152. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, hello, Mr. Dormef. <laughs> My husband is not at home. Okay, you might be able to go. Is he back? Yes, he is. Alright, you look all good to go. But you don't have an entry request. Sorry, yes, I forgot to show my entry request. Oh, okay, so you do have one. Robosinski. Okay, yeah, you're all good. Next time, don't forget to show your entry request, otherwise it might not be so lenient with ya. What? Came back from my job as a public accountant. You- I just let you win! He... No! Look in front of you, doppelganger dickhead. Like, excuse me? Like, you think you're just gonna be able to get away with that? No. Big no-no. Thank you, hazmat guy. Now, if anyone wants to try to pull that shit again, I will be contacting the authorities. Go away, Ted Niverson. I don't want to see you here. I'm not gonna hoon, okay? We don't hoon around here. That guy's not even trying. He doesn't have an ID. He doesn't even look like anyone here. Classic Ted moment. Hello. Come back from your job from killing children. Robust eyebrows, wears glasses, short hair around those. Yeah, 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 you look all good. I might call your phone number because I can. 1425. And we'll see what your wife has to say about this. Hello, me speaking. My fiance is not home. Okay, six. Yep, let's look. You're looking all good, Mr. Acton. And you're on today's list. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you for making my job easy. Have a good day. Hey, your pizza is pretty good. Oh, did I die? Who was the doppelganger? What? Doppelganger's got your four. Neighbors killed one. Roman had fake documents. No. Where? Wait, what? Since when? Damn it. Alright, well, we only... I think one's not too bad. And that was not my neighbor. That was... That was fun. Um, I hope that they actually do develop the game and have, like, a story mode or something like that, because I think that would be pretty fun. They had an uwu girl in there. It was a big uwu girl. You know, she had the fucking bangs over her eyes, you know. The, she came up to me and was like... Like, yeah, yeah, nice try. And we'll hope to play it again at some point when they fully released it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you around here next time once more.